Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys at Ride. Today we're out here in Granite Falls, Minnesota, and we're here with uh, Evan Fagan, and we're here at the Fagan Fighters World War II Museum. And uh, in case you want to come and visit here, we've listed their contact information in the description below. Uh, so Evan, thanks for having us. Thank you. Glad to have you. So we've toured a number of your aircraft here mm -hmm. today, and uh, we're also taking a look at this one because I, I guess I've watched so many movies with gliders being pulled when I saw this, it just kind of blew my mind. I knew they weren't necessarily super well made. I mean, they were kind of maybe a one-time use yep. kind of a deal, but yep. here you have one behind us. So tell us exactly what this is. This is a CG4A Waco glider. Okay. And these were made, like you said, to be used one time. They were pulled typically behind a C-47, and they were used to pull, to haul troops into combat, and they were, there's different configurations you could have in these gliders, whether they had the benches like you see here, yep, or they unclipped them with the clips, and they would put artillery in here, they could put jeeps in here, bulldozers like you see here, troops, personnel. Okay. And, um, you know, the gliders, the, the C-47s, once they get to a certain point, they'd release the hook, and then the pilots were essentially uh, lighting these airplanes in. So I noticed that the floor yep. ends right here at the door. Yes. And that was always the case? I mean, this was that the was, size you had to deal with, right? That's right. That no was one, always, nothing no. ever went back here. No, and, and actually the only other alteration is they had a general, and I can't think of his name, um, that also went up in this uh, before D-Day, um, and they had armor plating around his particular glider, and it was too heavy and out of CG, and the thing crashed out of control and killed everybody in it because they thought they had to put bulletproof armor to protect oh. the general, and it put the airplane out of CG, and it crashed. But all these had fabric beyond this point. And it was just the construction of the, the airplane because the front half was used to house the troops or the vehicles, and... Outside of that, it was mere design for the size of airplane to be able to be st stable to haul the load. So, uh, <clears throat> a couple, so many things flashed in my head, but you mentioned they we could put a Jeep in here or yep. a Caterpillar like we see here. Yep. How in the world? Because the okay. doors aren't big enough. So, you see this clip right here? Yes. That would attach, so I'll show you how they would load them, but that would attach to the bumper of the Jeep, and as the Jeep would drive forward, it would pull a, a pulley, which would essentially raise the front of this completely all the way up in the air. And then oh. to drive it down, the back of the pilot seat was the ramp. They'd push those down and drive out. So if you want to look at this over here, this sure, front yeah, end. Sure, yeah, because you've got a super neat example that sits right out here. Yes. So this would essentially lift straight up, and the Jeep would drive out. And right behind here, you see the ramps right. in that model. Then and they, they would were... fold down and they would just simply drive out. But this is all there was to control the glider. It was very basic instruments. You have your airspeed indicator, your VSI, which is your climb, your turn coordinator, and your altimeter, and then, of course, a magnetic compass. Oh, um, man. But there's very, very... Uh, very mechanical. Very mechanical. Everything. Um, you had your tow release, so when... The pilots would tell them to release, they would pull this lever and that would release the tow rope from the glider. And that was right out front here, the tow rope. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can look right there and see the hook. Oh yeah, right up there. Right front, okay. Yeah. And um, and otherwise the pilots just had to glide and use their glide speed and they had their rudders and, and their you know aileron control and it was very primitive, but it worked for what they needed. Um, a lot of people were killed in these aircraft yeah. or these gliders because they did not suspend they did not secure their loads, so the Germans flooded a lot of fields that these landed in, and um, as a result, a lot of the load would shift forward, crushing the pilots because they didn't secure the loads. Oh, so if you well, imagine and, that, and, and I mean, the load is sitting virtually right here behind you. Right. If you guys would like to come in here, we can come sit in here. I'll say, watch your head. Okay, so the nose would lift because a Jeep could attach to a cable and pull it backwards. Right. You could have it for troops up to 12, or I suppose maybe more, but weight-wise, you'd want to be careful. Yep, make sure it's on um, the CG. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I just remember from reading history that there were a lot of deaths involved with these. A lot of deaths, um, yes. You know, they weren't really me <laughs> unless you were landing in someplace nice and soft like a field. Right. Th I mean, there's nothing to hold them together. There is an aluminum frame. There's aluminum frame, but... Not. Other than that, it looks like balsa wood. Right. I mean, it's lightweight wood. It's going to snap and break easily. Yep. And I mean, um, 
a lot of these had bad endings. Well, you have a grab handle down this. Oh, this is for closing it, I to suppose. Yep, to pull it down. Sure. Yep. Now, it had skis yep. on it as well as tires in case you, know, you didn't know where yep. you were going to land. Right. So was there Skids. a way to ditch the tires? I don't think there was. I think these are more of essentially like a skid. Okay, so when so it when came it down, up, and it, yep, it kind of handles the instead of eating up the air. Most of the, of the weight would be up front, so it would tilt yep. down on snow. So yep. you would, it would it has slide a little bit. What's interesting is the grab handle is lower than the uh, right. Yes, that's very than the skis. I mean, yeah, that was not a good design. An engineering thing that somebody overlooked, but I mean, wow! I, I just I can't imagine flying in one of these. Right. This would be one aircraft I love flying. I would not go up in. No, I don't think I would ever um, either. But it, it did it it get served things. A it served a purpose. Um, yep. Unfortunately, we got <laughs> we got past that. Right. But uh, what it, you know, it's so cool to see that construction. Right. Because other than the canvas, everything's in place. It wasn't more wood. Right. It's essentially this without the side fabric right, without on it, just to show the construction of it. Yes. Yep. Man, and, the, and, and those wings, I'm sure, were you just You can imagine wrapped. the other one is on the wall, but I mean, it's a huge wingspan. It is huge, big, and, and that's big. all just wrapped, right? I mean, that's, that's not fabric. wood, yep. it's, it's just like fabric. A, just fabric, it's wood, wood construction, but fabric wings, yep. Man, wow, what an amazing little piece of history. And it's so long. It is very long. It's yes. just tremendous long. How long, how far could these things, on average, glide? You know that's a good question. I, I honestly can't answer that. Um, I don't. I don't know what altitude typically they would un. You know, they would pull hooks. Pull, at. I, yeah. I don't and know. All that would vary. Yep. I sort of heard a 20 mile mark, in, but that could be from something. I'm else. sure you're. I'm sure you're correct. Um, but if you know that, you could leave the comment down below as how far these things would glide on average. You know, not we know height and speed all make a difference, but. Right. Man, they had to sink pretty fast. I would imagine they I did. mean, even with all this lightweight construction, that's right. heavy. Yep. Wow. Absolutely. Well, Evan, thank you once again for sharing a, a piece Absolutely. of American history, a piece of World War II history, uh, one that had a tragedy a lot, but it's, it's, yep. it's really fun, good to see how that was actually built and what that looked like. No, absolutely. Um, it's, been, it's been fun to show you guys around and, and have you here. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.